uh, Melania Trump, and and this is strange, guys. I, I wasn't really ready for this. I don't know what to make of this all the way. Um, Melania Trump calls for a national security aide, Mira Ricardo's firing. All right, I got a clip about it. Let's check it out together. A White House official, the president has made the decision to remove and indeed fire this national security advisor. Back up. Jeff, let's start with the shocker of this all. What do we know about why the first lady is publicly calling for a senior national security staffer to be fired? And, and has that staffer been fired? Well, Jake, of all the dramas and all the shakeups here at the White House, and there have been many over the last a year and three-fourths or so, this certainly is an unusual one, largely because it's the East Wing firing a shot across the bow at the West Wing. Of course, the East Wing is where the First Lady's office works. But I was told just a moment ago by a White House official, the president has made the decision to remove and indeed fire this national security advisor, the deputy national security advisor. Uh, she's not being escorted out of the White House, as some uh, reports indicated. She's being given a little bit of time to uh, collect her things. But it comes after there was a bit of drama on the First Lady's uh, trip last month to Africa. Uh, there was a uh, you know, some back and forth, some disrespect in the eyes of, uh, of some advisors to the uh, First Lady. Now, this is all coming as this deputy national security advisor today happened to be standing only a few feet behind the president at a different event. So it makes the timing of this very curious. I've never seen anything like this, a first lady publicly calling for a national security official uh, to be fired. Your reaction? Last time I checked, we didn't have a royal family, but they sure do like to act like it. Um, listen, if there is insubordination or something really foul at hand here, okay, let's hear it. But I think we all should be concerned because the first lady is calling for the firing of a national security advisor. Last time I checked, the first lady didn't have any national security experience. Whoa. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired up in this mofo. What is going on? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you heard right. Uh, Melania Trump's calling for the firing of national security advisor. It looks like Trump has sided with his wife. Seems strange to me that uh, a wife or first lady would call for uh, someone to be dismissed from the administration, the president's administration. I mean, it, it's not like you're just throwing somebody out of a party. You know, your wife might get pissed off at one of your friends who knocked the drink over again in the living room, and she's like, that's it. Tell Jerry he got to go. Ah, no, nah, tell Jerry he got to get the hell out of my house. This is different. Melania wasn't elected to do anything. You know, I put up with a lot, you know, trying to trying to thread the needle on uh, on, on politics and and somehow keep a little bit of decorum. I think you know what I think. Screw decorum. You know what I think. People that watch Tim Black show don't give a damn about decorum. What I think you care about is a straight shooter. So let me tell you this: Melania Trump. Uh, uh, Look, I have no problem with people who do cinephones or stripping or poses. One of my good friends is a uh, is a dancer, but she's an acrobatic dancer. She does like plays. Uh, she does burlesque. Okay, so so I got respect for people who are in the arts, but I don't consider what Melania Trump did or did uh, did in the previous before her husband uh, before she got married to Donald Trump. I don't consider it art. What I find very funny is that there are people who put Melania Trump up here and they put Michelle Obama down there. Now just imagine if Michelle Obama would have weighed in and said publicly that she wanted to get rid of someone in Obama's administration. Just imagine what the, the backlash would have looked like on the right. Oh, they would have had a field day calling Michelle Obama all kinds of rude, uh, manly, uh, uh, overbearing. Uh, just imagine all the racist vitriol that would have came from those bastards on the right over that. See, this is what I don't like. There are people who watch my show who, for some reason, don't understand we have a very racist country. They're very racist. But you know, part of the reason why they don't get it is because they're part of it. Now, Melania Trump can call for the firing of a national security advisor, someone who's worked 
hard. Now, I don't even know the politics or what this person's about, this national security advisor, Mira Ricardell. I don't know anything about her. But I do know that she's probably earned her position and probably knows a lot more about security and about government affairs and about politics than Melania Trump. And if the shoe was on the other foot, once again, and this was Michelle Obama telling Obama he need to get rid of somebody out of his staff because she didn't like him or they had a, run, a disagreement, well, I think there'd be hell to pay and it would be everywhere as far as the Republicans would be everywhere shellacking Michelle Obama and Obama for caving in to, the plea, to what his wife requested. Oh, my God, they would have called Obama weak as hell. For, give, for giving it to his wife. And then would have been there would have been memes of Michelle. Come on, guys. There would have been memes of Michelle Obama with one of them bread rollers in her hand. Uh, Trump, uh, Obama be like this. Michelle Obama be with the bread roller. You better fire him. You better get him up out of here. Come on, guys. You know him, right? You know him, right? This is America. We know how they do. But now they quiet. Now they're quiet. I haven't heard shit from Sean Hannity. Where's Tucker Carlson now? Everybody say, oh, you got to feel bad for Tucker Carlson. He gets things right, more right than most of the other mainstream. Whatever. Where's Tucker Carlson on this one? Where's, where's his clip? Does this clip sound anything like this clip? Huh? Huh? I'm waiting to hear it. I'm waiting to hear Tucker Carlson point out the hypocrisy of the right being silent about an overbearing Melania Trump who got, got caught up in her feelings. Yo, Kiki, do you love me? Did you really, really, really want me to die me? I never have you, and I need you, and I never, never, I mean, come on. My feelings, really, I'm a dead really, know my feelings. She catches feelings, and she's dismissing, and look, and look, no, and look, and I'm upset. I'm upset that no one's calling this out. But it really starts with Donald Trump because Donald Trump is the one that's caving in to his wife's suggestion or demands. And the, something she has nothing to do with. See, Donald Trump should say, hey, I, I don't come on your photo shoots and kick uh, suntan lotion out of your hand or whatever that was you was doing or kick uh, female girls you kissed in pictures out of out of the pictures i didn't i didn't show up on your job trying to direct traffic why are you on my job trying to direct traffic huh okay but oh but he talks tough and berates berates black women it's okay but he can't even tell his wife to go ha go somewhere and have several seats let me run the country but he could tell Steve Acosta, shut your ass up and let me run the country and tell April Ryan to shut up and all these people are stupid questions and everybody's stupid. But then he, but, but he's good henpecked by his wife about a national security advisor. I just find it backwards, that's all. That's fine. It just, I just find y'all hypocritical as hell is all. That's all I'm saying. Like I said, Mira, Maria, Mira Cardwell, Cardale could be a horrible national security advisor. She could be. I have no idea. But that should be up to Donald Trump, right? And that should be up to, yeah, that should be up to Donald Trump inevitably uh, if that person is such a horrible. And the fact that we just saw a picture of her uh, an, at a trip with Trump and everything looked fine. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to leave that one there. Leave it there, guys. Leave it there. Leave it there. But we got to do better, Trump. We got to do better. Oh, we got to do better. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That sounded loud, too, didn't it? Okay, so now, if you like the Tim Black Show, you enjoy watching it, well, now you can watch us on Roku. That's right, go to Roku and get your Tim Black TV fix. Go Roku, Tim Black, TV, and I'll pop right up. Same shows you watch on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, now available on Roku. Oh, and make sure you leave a review. A good one.